Hey, people, injured here, 3 3 faction war. This is Hades Wastes and Orcs versus Space Marines. For the blue orky team, Progenitor with a mech boy, a teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat, puts us to good damage, has a bunch of orky gadgets here in dashing pink as well, alongside Dice Roll with a Commando Knock, infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky style begins with a twin link shooter. Rounding off the blue orky team, Ural with a war boss. A melee hero walking through objects, very strong offense, disruption and support from the front lines, Death Skulls elite scheme here. I like that the Warboss just yelled at the VP while he was capping it. Red team for the Space Marines, couple of force commanders, this is Orconero. And we have Sapiens, these guys fight in melee combat, leading a line with strong disruption and support options. Rounding off the team, Alex the Bald Fool is an apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura, they'll be in the mid, suddenly a commando knob appears, stun bomb, stuns himself, this is amazing commando knob, balky play, big fan of it, here comes Oral to back him up, with a mob of boys, double sluggers for dice roll, the other players going double shooters, and of course the single tacks up for the three space marine players at the start. Force Commander's going to the back lines there. Warboss trying to get onto the attacks. Looks like the Apothecary might fall in the first engagement. Does fall. Now they're going after the Force Commander who can pop a battle cry. But there's still a lot of stuff there. Attacks trying to retreat through. Might drop a model to those sluggers. Somehow they did not. By the grace of the Emperor and all that sort of stuff. Warboss is still charging the back lines. Very low on hit points though and does get away, playing it safe. West side, the mech boy is low, lots of DACA for the force commander though, bolt, bolt pistols taking out sluggers. Needs to run, I oh, was going to go down in retreat I think, does go down, waited too long to get out of there, did Orconero. Had shotgun scouts that they could have brought forward, they would have taken some shooter boy DACA but I think it would have been worth getting that shotgun blast in maybe. Perhaps they're waiting for the sluggers. The sluggers, meanwhile, with burners up, taking a bunch of damage trying to cap there. There's a war. Trying to get models off those scouts, I suppose. Talking of scouts, look at these fellas. In the southeast, capping a wreck point. Apothecary should get revived by the force commander there quite easily. Orc trying to cap up the central spine east to west of points. Have a contested VP here on the west. Orcs grabbing both the natural VPs, northeast here for the Space Marines and southeast here for the Orcs. Tactical Marines will take it back. It's double tax for Sapiens. Is this that um, Minotaur's Elite Scheme? Oh, it's Minotaur's Colors, I think. Or Taurus. Taurus, whatever it's called. That scheme that looks cool, that I always forget the name of, but he's got a different badge on it. Force Commander's still down on the west side. But the carry's coming over. Nope, Force Commander's coming over. Gonna get level 2 off this. Looters up for Progenitor with the death gun. Look at it. Like it's just got a bucket of bullets on the side. Uh, need to move up a bit, buddy. Covering the power at the moment, I suppose. Orcs did get up. The shooter boys grabbed that wreck point. Brother Curry heals himself in the mid. Lost the indicator for them now because they died. Double tax also for Alex. Attacks are getting low. Here come Burner Sluggers as well. Oh, they ignore them. Maybe they're trying to bait out the shotgun blast. You can sometimes make scouts move further than they would want. If a player lines up a shotgun blast a little bit early, you can like turn back away and the shotguns will follow them awkwardly and you can get some three hits on that way or some lure them out of cover kind of. There's a purification valve. Is it? No, it's a grenade. So a lot of orcs here. A lot of Boltify though as well. Attacks there dropping a model. But Sluggers got torn up. Even have a customized Storm Bolter for the Potter Carry. Stun Bomb goes in. Hits some stuff. Got one of the attack squads out there. But I think the Space Marines will clean up. They ran into Force Commander and a Potter Carry. And a whole bunch of tactical Marines there. Well, four attacks, I guess, from those fellas. Orcanero going into an assault squad to jump the looters and the such. Gonna get power bash though. Get one gen. 
I sort of squad will probably jump these double shooters. The sluggers will turn to engage. I said sluggers will turn to engage. Nope, they are very focused on the power bash. And they got another gen. Now they need to run though, they're not running. Gonna take a lot of damage trying to get away like that. On the VP, Storm Boys for Ural. Power melee weapons on those fellas. Bad news for Tactical Marine. Shotgun Scouts probably already used their blast. Have a Sergeant as well. Storm Boys are dealt with. McCoy just hanging out in heavy cover. Getting some darker going. They are getting their big shooter now. There it is. Almost 38 DPS on a teleport hero. Not bad at all. Big shooters for the shoot boys of Ural. Oh, these guys don't have big shooters though. For dice roll. Warboss charging in with the angry bits. It's a good charge. Putting pressure on those tacks now, but there's the full auto of the apothecary. Uh, don't know if they can stay there though. More tacks coming in for Alex. Are they paying attention? They are. They're moving them off. We have a slug on knob for dice roll. That guy has a power melee weapon. Two of them actually. Tier 2 upgrade for the sluggers. Don't have their burners yet though. 384 to 431. War boss maybe should have got the um, boss pole here. But Angry Bits is pretty damn nice to start off a fight. That might allow the sluggers to get in where they wouldn't have before. Got burners for or are the sluggers, but no knob leader queued up for the tier 2. They're on the power though. They're gonna get a full bash here, I think. War boss, meanwhile, is quite low on health. It might be worth him just charging thin air to get the health regen going. There it is though, charges the scouts. So it does get that nice health regen. War truck in play from dice roll to reinforce nearby orcs. Also can jump inside the transport. They bash the power. Did he get a decap? This war truck is really far forward. Only Sapiens is tier two. Don't see a missile launcher queued up for any of the attacks. Sluggers getting shotgunned. Uh, the, the knob leader comes in. So maybe we'll see if Thunhammer's queued up for the force commander. Because dice, oh, dice roll just dropped some sluggers there. I was going to say dice roll has two. But down go one of their sluggers. They still don't have burners up. Jumping into the war trucks. A lot of pressure here from the orcs. But are they taking too much damage here? I think they are doing a hell of a lot of damage as well. Assault squad getting away with one model there. There's a well-timed use your choppers on those slugger boys. 293 to 431. Back on the power. Any of the heroes down? Nope, all the heroes are up. East side though, looking very red. Very red and very quiet for the space rings. They even have this contested power stolen. Ought to like abandon the east side there. The sluggers getting exploded by shotguns. Storm boys jumping in, the knob leader means that they stun targets when they land as well. There's Ard boys up from the war bosses global bar. 25% damage resist. They are keeping the pressure up here. And they've locked this power down for a while, so I think this is worth it. Even if they eventually get forced to do a full retreat, the amount of time they've locked this power down has been pretty good. Although, Red Team have had that Eastern power for a while. They are taking it back now, thanks to Dice Roll. Double attack's going to get charged. Warboss out of nowhere there. It is a whirlwind for Sapiens. There's also one for Alex on the field. Is that double whirlwinds for Sapiens? It might be. Unless that was a mistake. I haven't cancelled it yet. So there's a retreat for the Orcs. For Progenitor. Lots of pressure though, as I said. Did some decent work there. Double attacks with Sergeants. No Stone Guard yet that I see. Did they wipe any squads? I don't think they actually wiped any squads, the Orcs, and they did lose those Sluggers. Those are the kind of losses that Orcs can kind of stride through on their way to Tier 3. Weird Boy for Ural. Gets a good shot there. Going for the Warp Head, which gives it Foot of Orc. Great tool to use against double attack Marines. Because they basically have to move, or they're going to take tons of damage from the Warp Head. The Foot of Orc. 
Orcs have taken back the east side pretty sharpish here. They've got that power as well, which is going to let them tech up. Plus 64 power per minute. More than one a second. And they're pressuring the mid. There is three whirlwinds here, though, so that's going to be very difficult to approach. Force Commander. Thunder Hammer for Sapiens. They both have the Thunder Hammer now. Stormboy is jumping out. Got to back off here, I think. It's too much disruption from the whirlwinds, potentially. They took out the Force Commander, though. Look at that. The double sync kill. Both of those models did the same sync kill from different sides. That's cool. 267 to 380. Weird Boy takes tons of damage. I think we'll be alright. Storm Boys with the jump. Heal goes in for the Apothecary, who then runs away. Barely gets out of there, actually. What a fight. Orcs just keep on coming. And Flash Bits are now on their way for dice roll. Rooters getting jumped, though. They're going to need to run, I think. Storm Boys can counter initiate the Assault Squad. They do have their Sergeant. They turn the Mercy Strike on them. That's a good hit. Another jump on the tax now. And the war boss comes charging in. And they're on that central power. They were able to just brute force their way through triple whirlwinds. And get a good amount of work done there, the orcs. Good special attack from the war boss. Needs to run though. Gets a stomp. But it doesn't knock down the force commander because of his iron halo. And down goes the war boss. Look at the map though, it is so blue. 267 to 312. Here's a knob squad. Another weird boy for a progenitor. Flash gets already up. And they're getting their blasters. Not a cheap upgrade at 25 power, but it's well worth it against Space Marines. AOE psychic damage, very effective against heavy infantry and super heavy. Scouts being sneaky. Getting a decap on the Orcs natural VP. I don't think... Did Orconero have another unit? Not sure. I don't think they did. The Space Marines haven't lost a lot of units. But they got their power pushed for a hell of a long time there. 250 to 292. Built their power back on the mid. Dreadnought on the way for Alex. A late game Dreadnought. Big fan of that. The only AV they have are the Stormboy Knob Leader Melee, the Weird Boys. Oh, they do have a Knob Squad now, that's right. But they'll put up a good fight against the Knob Squad with its melee resistance. Could just get the Assault Cannon, of course, and barrage the crap out of stuff. The Hawks pushing again. They are relentless here. Whirlwinds doing their best to disrupt things. Shotgun Blast, we have a Plasma Cannon trying to set up. It's going to get mobbed, I think. Whirlwinds have to keep moving. They can't fire while they move, though. They have been kept out of trouble. And as you can see, the disruption can be very nice. Attacks getting caught by sluggers. I think they'll be alright. I think they're far enough away. 177 to 292. Maybe that second whirlwind purchase for Sapiens has slowed them down a little bit too much. This plasma kind of fella is having a bit of a moment. There he goes. He's alright. He's going to set up. they got a decap here. Mob squad are being sneaky thanks to dice rolls hide the boys. And they found some tactical marines here. Flash gets getting blaster shots in as well. Force commander trying to disrupt. They have a sacred standard up for Sapiens Force Commander. Constant. AOE damage buffs to infantry. That or Canero. They're the, they're the one with the Iron Halo. Got the carry level 4. Where is that Dreadnought? Hasn't moved yet. 168 to 290. Despite all this pressure, the Space Marines are doing well on VPs. They're sending their scouts to harass this VP constantly. Dog Squad see off that Force Commander. But can they cap with the Whirlwind there? They shouldn't be able to unless they get lucky and this thing can't hit them properly. 
Double tax. Should pop your crack and bolts, fellas, because knobs are heavy infantry. Single cap now for the orcs. And the knobs are hidden again by the commando. Good use of that global. Going after the whirlwind. They're on it. Disruption might save them, but it's got to move. I don't think it moved quickly enough. Down it goes. Knob squad level to two. It's hard to spot that stuff and react to that quickly, so I don't think it was particularly bad play for Sapiens to lose that thing. That was a hell of a thing to defend against. Infiltrated knob squad on your whirlwind. If they were a little bit more lucky with those whirlwind shots, they might have got better, slightly better disruption and got away there. Warboss on the western VP, 155 to 264, so more than 100 VPs for the Orcs to make up here. Got two knob squads on the field now. There was a weird boy for a progenitor, I think, that's gone down. There's a looted tank on the way. One to one cap. Lots of Daka. What is this? It's just shooter boys. West side was not capped. It was decapped, but I didn't take it. Here's a dreadnought all of a sudden. Two close combat weapons for the Space Marines just chewing through those Storm Boys. Now chewing through the Sluggers. Pretty damn effective here in the first fight it had, I think. Got a plasma cannon on this side. Got those double tacks with plasma guns. So they'll be good for putting damage on a knob squad. Forced them to use Frenzy maybe earlier than they would want. Or Conero with a land raider on the way. Force commander's down though. And he was really far forward, actually. Speaking of Force Commanders, this one's fighting some Flash Kits. There are some Sluggers being shot by Flash Kits, I should say. You're going to decap this, fellas? On that Eastern Power, here is the looted tank. That's my cannon. Almost hit it by accident there. Doesn't it seem super interested in decapping though here guys well that VP I mean just keep moving and the plasma cannon shouldn't hit you very easily We're still not decapping I think these guys were given the order to decap and it has failed it's just sometimes happens in this game dreadnought take a bunch of damage orcs do have the wests no they don't it's red dumbass they don't have it those guys are still not decapping there. They're losing a lot of VPs here when they shouldn't be doing so. Plasma Cannon is stopping them capping here, I assume. They can just get jumped though by the Storm Boys. Don't have their knob leader right now. War Boss could just charge them, I suppose, as well. Got his heavy armor now. Oh, eats one to the face. Not going to be happy with that. Stops his charge. Now he's on it. There's a Bomber Boy. I don't think he needed to Bomber Boy there. Or Al got excited. Plasma Cannon is wiped. Meanwhile, they did eventually get the decap here. Knob Squad being sneaky again. This time with huge hammers. How do you infiltrate these hammers? Look at the size of them. Force Commander doing their best. Oh, it gets them off of there. I think they had, still had plenty of health. I don't think they needed to retreat. Especially if you had Frenzy available soon. Maybe they didn't. Here comes the war boss. Now has a power claw to say hello to the apothecary. Look, I have a power claw. Power claw here. Look at my power claw. Apothecary still wants to see the power claw. Oh, he saw it a lot and died. One eleven to two three eight. Still a sizable VP lead for the space ring. Look how blue the map is, though. Surely the Orcs have this. Another knob squad on the way for Progenitor. They do have a land raid though. They've got a rock this thing. Here comes the knob squad. Down one model. Maybe we could see cool boys here. Shotgun blast helps out a little bit. War boss is off the field, so there's no power for attacks at least. But an obs squad there. Building up momentum with the hammers. Frag Assault disrupts some of them. Looted Tank now getting shot. This thing's very low though. Bob Squad are forced to retreat. There's the rocks. Got a few 
good hits as well. Dreadnought back on the field. Orbital going in. Two orbitals going in. While two more knob squads join the fight. That's a decent orbital there. Decent couple of orbitals. Ouch. Then they wiped something at least. Big old retreat for that knob squad. Vanguard veterans jumping in trying to get on this tank. Getting their power fist, but they didn't get it before they jumped 100 to 234. Can someone please repair this looter tank? Maybe the mech could get on it. They are busy decapping wreck points now, which is fair enough. 93 to 234, the 2 to 1 for the Space Marines is somehow persisting. The map is very blue, there's a rocks again. They didn't set it up, but those guys are not moving. And somehow they didn't get hit. They got hit a tiny amount, that blob of Pat Marines there. Very lucky. War boss is down in the mid. Weird boy with the war path. Supporting a knob squad. Oh, they retreated the knobs as well. Sticky retreat there, as they call it. Vanguard veterans getting a wipe. Look at the orc armies now. But absolutely decimated. Holy crap. There's the 2 to 1 for the orcs. But have they taken too many losses here? And they've waited too long to really focus on VPs. Make boy capped up a bunch of stuff. So they we be, will be able to recover decently well. But are they going to have time to recover? Sapiens talking about invisible stuff somewhere. Oh, the commando. Trying to get their VP back. Here's Hyder Boys on the knob squad. Frenzy. They are being spotted by the scout squad back there. And they show no fear on the double tax. There's user choppers on the knob squad. They're being knocked over by the tax. The and they show no fear. Knocked down melee bonusy thing. Killed a model, but there's a heal, and that's maybe Terminators. It is Terminators for Sapiens. It's not Assault Terminators, though. 69 to triple two. Commando just here getting vision, I suppose. Doesn't have a rocket launcher or something to go after that vehicle. Tank is up for Alex. They're now turning to recap some of their own stuff, I suppose. Oh, there's a Mega Rumbler. Oh, no, nope, ran away before it went off. Space Marines flooding the mid and the west with packs now. Top squad pop their frenzy, avoiding the whirlwind. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, battle wagon with a big zap gun shot on those scouts. Pretty effective. 45. To triple two. Progenitor down to just a knob spot here. What is this? This is Oral pushing the east side. Two knob squads alongside their war boss, and they are the player that has preserved their units. For the walks. Progenitor got wrecked by the earlier orbital, they're saying. Baskets on the way though. Trying to recover. Orcs can recover well with their tier 3 infantry because it's so good. See how it goes. Double knob squad here soaking up outrageous amounts of damage, being disrupted by the force commander. Having to run. War boss with the power core level 3. Commando meanwhile getting cap. 45 to 216. War boss getting stuck in. Also getting disrupted though. Almost 2,000 hit points. Commando goes down. Almost got the cat. War boss might also go down if it's not careful. Looks like it. Looks like it's been careful enough. They got the tank. Nob squad got the tank. Orc on arrow with the sound bug. No. No, no, no. And the space rings hold on. Orc on arrow. Orc on arrow is the one with the land raider as well. You don't want the AI controlling your land raider. Have they done enough, the Space Marines? They are still very behind on map. But they're grabbing it back. 
GG from Sapiens. Are the, are the Space Marines given up? I don't think they're going to concede. But they are a bit disheartened by the sound bug, I suppose. But as I don't know, the game loses sound and one or two minutes later you crash. And that's what's happened to Orphanero. We don't know if they've already crashed and the AI has already taken over. Force well, 1 are doing some good work here. Got some Vanguard veterans in there as well. There's a double cap for Space Marines. Maybe they've still done enough. Because Dice Roll and Progenitor still only have two units. So I don't think they can get on the VPs enough. This one seems secure. With a bunch of Terminators. Can they hold this contested one? Is the answer, and they can. Is the question, I should say. And the answer is yes. Space Marines grab it at the end. They kept up their VP presence despite soaking up huge amounts of damage on their power. But they didn't drop squads, and that's what you need to do to Space Marines. You need to kill their squads. Making them reinforce is great, but uh, obviously it's way more efficient to reinforce rather than purchase new stuff. Space Marines got their tier 3s at the right time. They made good decisions on their units. The Whirlwinds did well. I think they did well. We had a level 3 mech peer at the end with Big Shooter and Mega Rumbler. We had a level 4 commando down at the end. Did some good work on this VP. Ural preserved their units pretty well, I think. Level 4 war boss here. Orconero's Force Corner level 6. Got that first land raider up, which made a big difference on that west side. Alex stayed solid with the Apothecary, level 8. And Sapiens with a level 6 Force Commander, that Sacred Standard. And they both did well, I think, with those hammers. Well, there you have it, guys. Thankfully, the soundbar didn't ruin this one. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players for getting themselves together and uh, sending in a faction war. It was a fun one. Frantic action. I'll see you guys next time.